Hello. Hello, David. Yes. It's Bob from the FedEx. Okay. And we have a package that arrived for you. Oh, great. And but um, it looks like they hadn't sent it to the to China yet, because we have to send it to they, for the Chinese government to monitor. So we had this. I I don't know if they called you yet, but I just needed to let you know that your package isn't actually ready yet because we've had to send it off to the Chinese government. And what? after after they take a look through it, they'll send it right back. They have an expedited shipping service. You'll hardly know it was gone, but it'll be it'll be here in two days. Wait, what? I, I don't understand why a package I have is being looked at by the Chinese government. Well, they, they do this with all the packages. They usually go to the Chinese government first, and then they come back here. Why? What? what I don't understand. What does this have to do with the Chinese government? Oh, the Chinese government, they monitor all the packages that come through our store. They give us extra money to do that. They just open up the box and just kind of rifle around. Is this a joke? I, I don't understand. No, it's not a joke. It's just it's something that the uh, certain franchises of FedEx do to make extra money. And it, it helps us keep your shipping costs a little bit lower. What? So, so they open up my package and look at it? Yeah. Yeah. They just kind of look around and inspect it, write down the contents, and they write down your name and address and all of the stuff from the packing slip. And then they send it right back to us. It's a really fast process. But yeah, I think they may have called you already and told you it was ready, but it's not ready. We have to send it back up, up to China first, and then they'll send it right back. Am I able to opt out of this service, or I have no choice? Oh no, no! It absolutely. If you're going to use our shipping center, if you're going to use, yeah, if you're going to use us, it has to go through the Chinese government. It just so it, every package that FedEx sends, it doesn't even make sense. Every package that FedEx sends, you're telling me goes through China. Yeah, through the Chinese, yes, and they send it right back. It, right. it used to be faster because the, the Chinese government, they actually had um, you know, they had a building here in the United States, but since all this craziness how is happening. How is that legal? I'm trying to understand how that's legal. Well, since it's through China, we don't have to follow federal guidelines for, you know, not going through your mail and stuff. I mean, you realize how bizarre this sounds? Or no, maybe not. I, I yeah, don't I don't know. I've been here for seven years now, and this is just how it's always been done. Yeah, I, I, yeah now that you mention it, I guess I was a little surprised by it all when I first started working here. But they're they're just they're right. just writing down your name and phone number and just yeah. You know, yeah I don't really want the Chinese government to have my name and phone number and what I buy. But okay. But what does it matter? What are they going to do with it? It's not like. I, I I don't know, but I mean, if I had the option of having them have it or not having them have it, I'd say not having them have it, but yeah. all right. Well, you could use UPS and pay twice as much, because they don't do that. Sure. But that's how we keep prices down. Okay. You stupid motherfucker. All right. So quit, well. quit questioning our, our tactics here. But uh, we'll give what you a call. Where are you at? We'll give you a call. What store are you at? Which, which location? I'm, I'm, I'm at FedEx. Yeah. On what? Someone you usually come to. Let me talk to your boss. He's unavailable right now. Hey, let me let me talk to someone else in there. Everyone's busy. Let me talk to Marissa. Chad's with let the customer. Let me cu- talk to Marissa. She's not here today, and Chad's with the customer. Okay. All right. What's your name? My name is Bob. Bob. All right. Thanks, Bob. Well, why are you being like that? <laughs> <laughs>